talk for long because I know these lights with a GoPro might be looking a little bit weird. I can see there's lines going up, so we'll be quick. But we're just heading out now. We arrived by a private water taxi to Venice, which is amazing. The tide is really low, so we weren't able to sit at the back of the boat outside, gutted. But with this GoPro, I've got a huge selfie stick, so I was able to <laughs> get some views from outside, hopefully anyway. It took about half an hour to get to our hotel. We're staying in San Cassiano. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. We booked a package holiday with EasyJet, and then I paid separately for our transfers. Private water taxi was 122 euros, so it's gone up a little bit from the last time we arrived here. Not sure what to do yet on the way back. It's about half past six now, we've just freshened up. It's a little bit cold, but not too cold. And I'm just gonna go for a wander. I love Venice. I absolutely love Venice. around 20 minutes from our hotel but it is packed <laughs> it is busier than what it was when we came in august a few years ago the streets are just bonkers but i do think it's because people are on their way out of here because the carnival's finished <laughs> We've got a 10 a.m. prison tour. So we're walking to San Marco, which is around half an hour, 20 minutes away. <laughs> First time catching up on the vlog. So I booked with Get Your Guide a prison tour. I'll pop all details down below in the description. It lasted an hour and it gave us some really great information about Venice, about Casanova. We saw lots of torture devices. 
but yeah definitely recommend especially if it's your first time coming to Venice because the guide gives you lots of tips on where to go what to see and things so now we're on the lookout for somewhere to eat and drink near Aqua Libraria I wish, oh I wish, I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could do something that would make sense I wish I would know what you're thinking about I wish I could wipe my own memory out They've gone back to the hotel because John is really cold, really, really cold. So he's gone to get his jacket. Ollie and I just walked to Liberata Aqua Alta, which is the world famous bookshop. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the queues. The queues were huge. Closes at half seven in the evening. So we're gonna come back later or tomorrow or the day after. I last went in August, um, about five, six years ago. No problem whatsoever, no cues. <laughs> but this is the last day of the carnival, so there's gonna be lots of people around anyway. So Ollie and I are just taking it all in, enjoying, walking around, looking at the beautiful buildings. Gonna go and have a sneaky drink in Cicchetti now <laughs> before the others join us. The sound is so loud, I wish, oh I wish, I wish I could. into a into a cafe the hugo spritz was around three euro fifty and then the little pieces of food they were about two euro ten we did have the most expensive ones but we had two of them each really really tasty we we're only in there for about 10 minutes so it's what the venetians do isn't it oh the wrong one we're searching for john now we don't know where he is because the signal isn't very good here. We're in Canergio. Canergio. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, there's six different district areas in Venice. We've walked through one, two, four <laughs> so far this morning. So we're on the hunt for John and Jazz somewhere. <laughs> really know where we'll find out afterwards <laughs> and um, I had a spritz select which tastes exactly like an Aperol spritz so I don't know whether they made a mistake or unless they are very similar I had a bruschetta and the others had pizzas and salads I'm gonna stop talking now so <laughs> I'm feeling a bit drunk Holiday, I'm on holiday, I'm on holiday. We're on the search for the narrowest street in Venice, Cala Ferisco. Oh, is that there? Now we've got to find it. Well, that's wide. Okay. It's not down there. 
It is so narrow that I think I might not be able to fit down there unless I go sideways. For reference, I'm shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> shop that inside an old cinema it's called Dispa Teatro Italia so we're gonna get some wine to bring back to our hotel but you're not allowed to take any photos or videos so I can't show you inside <laughs> and then we're gonna catch a gondola for two euros each and then go across the Grand Canal back to our hotel we don't want to fork out 100 euros for a 30 minute gondola ride so we're just catching a taxi so we could say we've been in a gondola <laughs> Which is brilliant, only five minutes, two euros each, a bargain. <laughs> you lay beside me, you held my hand in the dark. I started fighting, cause I was scared of it all. And isn't it glorious, how love gets the best of us. Tough one sometimes Please move close to me You love differently So move close to me Love me differently, differently Had our first gondola ride and our last <laughs> oh my gosh right over there that's where we came off can you see that boat there we were on that boat and we just went across the water there it cost us two euros each and it's full of people and that is why we won't do it again <laughs> because the boat was like growing up because there's boats passing as you can see so it causes the gondola to go like this. <laughs> it's literally only five minutes and it is handy. Saves us walking 10 minutes down to Rialto Bridge and then another 10, 15 minutes then to our hotel. Our hotel is the orange building right down there. So yeah, so for four euros, it's great. <laughs> it was just so funny. But yeah, we're gonna go back now to our hotel and see John in about half an hour because they didn't want to do this. But yeah, we've been on a gondola. <laughs> we are trying to find our way to our hotel. It's literally only a few hotels up the Grand Canal away from us, but we can't walk on the side of the Grand Canal to it. <laughs> it's just guesswork now. <laughs> going to St Mark's Square, we're going up the tower, we've paid tickets to go up the tower between six and half six I think they are available for. It's the last night of the carnival so we're expecting it to be super super busy and hopefully lots of costumes and masks around so I can take some photos but um, we'll see. But yeah and then we're going to head over to Dosoduro I think to see and have a meal there at some point, go over the Academia Bridge. So that's our plans.
up the bell tower and guess what i booked it <laughs> for nighttime thinking sunset would be gorgeous <laughs> little did i know this time of year it's around for fog <laughs> we should have come up here during the day <laughs> never mind never mind it's still cool to see down there though <laughs> It cost us like 12 euro to skip the line. Oh, I didn't need to skip the line. There was no queue anyway. And I'm sure we could have gone for eight euros each. You might not be able to hear me because of the bell. Which bell is it? That would have Jasmine's hurt bell. our ears. <laughs> We've only just come down. There's loads of people up there. That would have been awful. <laughs> oh. Definitely recommend doing it though because I've done it in an in August a couple of years ago. Stunning views all over Venice, so definitely worth it.